For our multiplication of decimals, we don't have to use the, black, or the base 10 pieces. We can create our problem and simply do it on a pad of paper. So say we take the problem 3 and 6 tenths times 2 and 4 tenths. What we do now is look at the first, the whole numbers of the problem, multiply those two together, and get a product of 6. So our answer should be somewhere in the ballpark of a product of 6. So for the second step, we remove the decimals completely from the problem and just deal with the numbers, or in this case 36 times 24. multiply, and then we get a product of 864. There's an opportunity to put decimal places in one, two, three, four positions. So we write our number down four times. And if we try to put a decimal place in each of those positions, our original work and logic should tell us that 3 and 6 tenths times 2 and 4 tenths should equal somewhere about the range of 6. So 864 thousandths is not it. 864, way off. 86.4, off. 8 and 64 hundredths, this is our answer. And we can check our work by solving algebraically. Thank you.